Fighting with Pride is the LGBT plus military charity and we are here to support LGBT plus veterans, serving personnel and families and we've been going for just over three and a half years now. Perhaps the most important service that Fighting with Pride uh, provides to LGBT plus veterans is befriending. We know that when we bring people together who have shared similar experiences, then they feel totally at ease and they're able to share much more of what happened in their personal lives. And that's been a hugely positive experience. Uh, we're also working with um, the government and uh, Westminster, devolved parliaments, uh, the Office of Veterans Affairs and MOD, to look at ways that we can improve the, uh, the health and well-being of those veterans, connect them into the military family, and also uh, looking at reparations for the losses that they have experienced over that time. The LGBT plus ban uh, was known as a gay ban. Uh, it existed from uh, 1967 when the uh, armed forces were given dispensation from the Sexual Offences Act, uh, right through to uh, January 2000 when it was lifted as a result of it being found illegal in the European Court of Human Rights. Since then, the armed forces have transformed to be an inclusive space where they are today uh, and they're very proud of their LGBT plus service personnel. Our research report is called Lost and Found, the LGBT veterans community and the impacts of the gay ban. And it's a really, really hard hitting report. It actually reveals in the veterans own words, backed up by the study of the research team, the uh, impacts of the ban on their lives uh, since they were dismissed from service. And those impacts have been there for 23 years since the ban was lifted, plus from whenever they were uh, dismissed from service, so a long time now. Uh, and they've been left uh, alone and unsupported in all of that time, cast from the military family and, uh, and told that they weren't veterans and they didn't deserve to call themselves veterans. For Fighting with Pride, signing the covenant is our commitment to the understanding that nobody shall be disadvantaged by their service in the armed forces. It also means that as an organisation, we understand the unique needs of the serving and veterans communities and that we will be a positive employer about those who particularly are involved in reserve service. Serving in the armed forces is not an ordinary career. It brings with it amazing opportunities, but it also brings with it a wide range of risks. And some of those risks will have an impact through our lives. Getting the right legal support and advice when those impacts become problematic in life is really, really important. So if you're an LGBT veteran who hasn't previously connected with Fighting with Pride and you're not aware of the uh, research or of Lord Efferton's review or of the recommendations for reparations, then please reach out to us through our website. You can do that at www.fightingwithpride.org.uk.